Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Oh my god, bitch. <laughs> I knew I would get you. Yeah, you got me. I really did. You had fun? Yeah. Because he's coming back to you. You know the bang! Oh, wow. That was quick. Yeah. You You remember when that was like a thing that people did? I did They'd be like at the park and they'd be like, fuck. I used to do it all the time. That actually hurt me. Are you good at skipping rocks? I'm not the worst. I'm not good. Bro, have you ever skipped rocks on a frozen surface? Oh, and it makes that sound like hoing, 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 hoing. Dude, I, when, actually when Beck and I first met, we skipped rocks on like a frozen pond. Oh, what are you, a fucking children's book? What are you talking about? The first time you guys hung out, you were skipping Not rocks the by the first, a pond? But one of the first times we hung out. That's, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Fuck what, you. What, what would you rather us do? We did. I took her to dinner. We hung out. We went out to bars. Okay, good. We had fun. I'm Bro. not. I'm saying fuck you. It's so like a. It's like a fairy tale. It is tale. cute. It is pretty cute. And that's why I married. Like, well, we met on a tire swing. Fuck you. The woman of my dreams. But I skipped the rock on the frozen surface, and it was like jump, jump, jump. Well, no, that's not that the last jump. Yeah, that was a little Japanese. I would say. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What it did? It sounded like it. That's a little insane and insensitive. Is it? A little bit. I. I. I Okay. Um, but I would say uh, it's really, really cool. I'm, not, I'm like, I'm an okay rock skipper. I'm not. I'm not really good. I can get two. I f- anytime I find like a really good rock, I like load up for it and then fucking droop, like right in my yeah. feet. Yeah. Shong. Like, I hate droop. that. Yeah. That, that's what the sound is. <laughs> Floop. Uh, but I was always a good like flicker of, of bottles bottle caps can you make really good paper airplanes too are you no to... never never been one Me of those either bro i couldn't even it wasn't like a thing in our school growing up paper airplanes you know what it was though when you get construction paper and you fold it a certain way and you go pow uh, i a big bang i didn't do that but i know people that did that yeah i could never do it i didn't do that you know what, what i never heard of until i got to college it must be like a stupid hick connecticut thing <laughs> people would take bro People would take the wrappers off of like a Gatorade bottle and they like rewrap it and they like blow it, like they blow air into it and it fucking shoots up and it sticks into the like ceiling. I swear to God. I had never, fuck? I'd never heard of it. And I was like, why are there all these wrappers on the ceiling? And they were like, you never, and they were like, watch this. And, fucking, whoop, and it would stick into the ceiling. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? I never knew. Never heard, never knew. <laughs> never knew. I remember one time you came back from college. And you're like, yo, let's play this drinking game. It's the greatest drinking game on the planet. Wait, and I will stand by it. Oh, wait, which one are you talking stump. about? Stump. <laughs> it's the greatest Frank's fucking like, drinking yo, game. All we need is a stump, a nail, and a hammer. Yes. I'm like, we are not in Connecticut anymore. Bro. We don't have a stump. It's we the, don't have a nail. It we is, don't have a hammer. And you know what? You know what? There's one person that I met like who knew what I was talking about, and she's one of the most fun people, and it's Big Ange. She knew. She was like, what do you want to play? And I was like, this game called Stump. She's like, I love Stump. And I was like, this is fucking amazing. No. You guys never gave it a shot. You throw a hammer in the air, and you catch it, and you hit the nail on the way down. I'm like, when do we drink? You drink all the time. Everyone in... So, all right. For those that don't know what the game is, you have a stump that's like knee high, and each person playing sits in a circle, and they hammer their nail into a part of the stump. But like, use a three-inch nail, you, you hammer like an inch into it. And the point of the game is you have to throw the hammer up, catch it, and in one fluid motion, hit someone else's nail to either drive it all the way in or to knock it out. And when you hit, they drink. When you miss, you drink. When you hit and there's sparks, everyone goes, sparks, and they all drink. (laughs) It's so much fucking fun. And I've seen one person get hurt doing it in plenty of games. And that's it. How did they hurt? They missed the stump and hit their shin. How do you even begin to do that? You be drunk. I guess. You be you be drunk. Be drunk. And then you miss. Yeah, that game. You say that's the most fun beer game? It's one of. It's it's up there. It's what really would you say hard. are your top five drinking games? Number one. What? Beer pong. Um, beer pong's up there. I don't know that it's that fun. What? Like, I it's like more competitive. It. You're right. It, I like it, but like I'm like I'd rather play uh, the game that we came up with is very uh, very fun. beer ball it's like beer ball and beer, beer pong yeah well, tip out it's literally just a combination of two very popular yeah. games i like that game a lot but i can't play too many rounds of it i <laughs> i gotta say beer ball is in my top five beer ball is mad and fun. it made a late entry do you remember yeah. when we played in in the poconos and 
we won like nine games in a row in like an hour span. Bro. That was one of the drunkest I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to go throw up all this beer now. Yeah, we, we had a big old problem that night. It was a lot of fun though. Yeah. Do you remember we drunkenly called Danny LoPriori at night and we're just citing lines from I Think You Should Leave? Probably. That yeah. sounds really on that's par. Exa- no, that's exactly what happened. But beer ball... Yeah, beer pong, but beer pong could be miserable if you're Flip too cup. competitive. Slap cup's a lot of fun. Slap cup's fun. Flip cup is fun, but it's too. Su- I'd, I'd rather do super flip. I feel like that's more fun than regular flip cup. Yeah, that's a good one. And I don't know that people really play that though. But that's a fun game. That is a fun game. And then because it's mayhem. Kings is a classic and it's fun. I hate that fucking game. Cheers to the governor. That's a good game. That's a great game. Yeah, you have to play with a group that's like everyone's like sort of decent at it. Yeah, if you play in a group and one person sucks, it ruins it. Yeah, do you remember? So, Cheers to the Governor is a game where you're supposed to go around. If you have a circle of like say ten people, everyone has a drink, and you have to go around and count from one to twenty-one. Yeah, but seven is fourteen, and and fourteen. fourteen is seven. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seven. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah, and if you get all the way to the end, you all cheers, you drink. And then you get, assign a number, a rule. Yeah. So, like, it could be, like, seven now you have to, you know, fucking try to fit your fist in your mouth. Right. So, like, you would do... And then at the end of the game... It's not even numbers. It's, it's not just numbers. Like it's just like... Uh, 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 like, just, like, stupid <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's fucking a lot of fun. Or if you really want to fuck the game up, you're like, all right, now three is 17. Yeah. It's like, now you're done. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. No one's getting this. But. So, and then at the end you say cheers to the governor and you drink. Yeah, good times. Used to drink a lot of beer back in the day. I often look back on that, and we got fucked up at your house, though, when we played beer pong. Slow, slow down, dude. Like, chill. We did. You're making it sound like I, I, mean, had, I, like, I had the trap house. No, I'm talking about, like, recently. Like, last year when I came Oh, over. yeah. That was, that's one of the most fun days I've had in, uh, honestly, a really long time. It was fun. Because we, we just danced to 2000s hip-hop. <laughs> yeah. We put my collectible figures on our beer pong table. <laughs> played and beer pong for hours. Played beer pong, and I lost every single game. <laughs> every single one. I remember when <laughs> you were beating me one game, and I was like, oh, I need to switch it up. And I went and got like a Stone Cold figure, and then I beat the shit out you, of you. You put a, a Kurt Angle and a Stone Cold on your side of the table, <laughs> and you came back and beat me at, after being behind like six cups. You know, it's not me. It's the it's the men. Uh, it's the team. I got to say, new merch. Looking pretty good there, new babe. It's looking good, babe. You know what I mean? Go get some. What, is it available now? It is available now. Right now? Yeah. That's really cool. Maybe one day I'll have some. It's right there. You think I'm going to walk in, waltz in, and take some merch for myself? You, yeah. No. You say, hey, you should take this for you, your wife, your children. Well, now we're getting crazy. No, we're we up to like six people now. Yeah, no, no, we shouldn't take it for my kids. Jesus. We shouldn't take it. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing swell. Swell. Yeah, well, that's not, I shouldn't have said that. Swell is where you went? I don't know why I said that. Can I ask you, uh, your dentures, are they removable? or? Because <laughs> I'm so old. What, what, why swell? I don't know. Why I said that? I'm a, I'm embarrassed. I'm a little mad at you. You didn't get me the sunflower seeds I asked you to get me today. That was a big mistake. It was a huge mistake. Well, to be fair, you asked me yesterday, right? No, no, I asked you weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but you you followed up. Oh, oh, you sent me a picture of the bag. I did the first time too. And then I didn't go. You didn't go. I forgot. A very simple thing that you could have done. I know. I don't like that about me. <laughs> what? That you're forgetful? Y- yeah. I am too. I have to admit. I'm pretty forgetful. I hate it. I, I feel bad. Sometimes I'm forgetful and people think that I just am like avoiding them. And it's like, I just forget. People have just come to accept that I'm a forgetful ass. <laughs> An ass. A forgetful ass is where you went. Ass, yeah. Okay. But anyway, speaking of ass, uh, hot story, hot off the press. Uh, there was a, a, um, a, um, a female uh, police officer uh, mm-hmm. who was... Fired recently for fucking six other... I heard about this. Yeah, she was really throating the whole department, apparently. Yeah, okay. Good for her, though. Because Listen. get that wiener. Unfortunately, she was married to a man. Was um, he also a cop? He... That's... I have no idea. Bro, this this girl was just, just letting the whole fucking battalion show her, you know, the blue line. Yeah, the pre... <laughs> the precinct had a way with it. Oh man! Uh, how many? Now, what was the final number? Because I saw there were rumors of like, I think one is a lot. Five colleagues. Whoa! Everyone was fired. In the, where? Five where? cocks. Where? 
That's Where, a great what town? Tennessee. Oh, they're uh, they're all related too. Those fucking bubble fuck hicks. No, <laughs> they're not bubble fuck. You said bumble. Oh, you said bubble fuck. I was like, oh, that's a new one. Um, yeah. So uh, not a big department. Yeah. Did they all know? So they they according to reports. Uh, her name is Megan or Megan. Well, are we just gonna say her name? Bro, I'm looking at the report. The report's here. What do you want me to do? All right, all right. Throw it out there. Uh, Megan Hall. It's a good name. All right. And uh, other law enforcement personnel were involved in a wild sexcapade. That's a cool word. Sexcapade? Anything capade is cool. Yeah, like escapade. Esca- sexcapade. Well, that's only two. But like there's <laughs> excapade. All right, I guess there is only two. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's excapade and, and sexcapade. Go on. Okay. Masquerade? Uh... Not that cool. Kind of freaky now that I actually... What about aid? Uh, Moving on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, they were involved in a wild sexcapade uh, that included sending explicit photos well, to that, these yeah, naturally. pussies, buddies, uh, stripping off her top at a Girls Gone Wild hot tub party. Hello. They still have those? For the police, yeah, apparently. Uh, well, 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 <laughs> there's a lot of jokes I can make there. I'm not going to do it because I do support blue but it's also a little weird um i th- I'm, I'm referencing more girls gone wild i thought those were only commercials back in 2006 that came on at like 3 a.m well no they well they have to film the content right do you remember those things it was like girls gone wild presents cancun slut celebration yeah and it's like in the back of an rv and she's like fucking what yeah, it's exactly it. what it was. The guy would be like, "Listen, I'll give you three Miller Lights if you show me one fucking nipple." And she's like, ah! yeah. "It's like if you dump out those hoo haws." I'm pretty sure the guy that ran that got into like big time trouble. Yeah, big trouble. I mean, well, I think it was he doing his legal. But there was a documentary that came out recently that I wanted to watch, and it was about that. I don't know if oh, it was I, recent, but I don't. I didn't know about but it. But it was about like the rise and fall of Girls Gone Wild. How different our lives are. You hear about documentaries about Girls Gone Wild. I hear about documentaries of the show Glee. Yeah, different, different very, houses. Very different lives. Yeah. <laughs> um, even having oral sex with two other officers uh, at the police station. Damn. At the police station. Hey, you're fill, are you filling out paperwork? Bing, pow. So In the barracks. Yeah. That's just a like, cool place. Is that to what get, it's called? I, that would be a cool place to get fucking throated down. Dude, sucking in the precinct. Is that fireable if you suck it in the precinct? I, I, I think in, in the workspace, yes. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the precinct or Fair. fucking, you know, an office. But, like, all Technically, right. when you and Greg hook around, hook up here, you could, shouldn't be doing that. But I'm the HR department. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to report the reporter? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but, uh, yeah, I didn't, I don't know. They all got fired. Uh, internal investigation reports, uh, sexual misconduct. Um, she boasted about the size of one of the partner's penises, claimed it to be in an open marriage. Um, but if all these people got fired. Wait, so, okay. I guess it would make sense why the people that had the affair in the building, in the precinct, got fired. Oh, well, I guess you need to disclose any, like, relationships with your employer. But what counts as a relationship? Like, if you, like, hook up with your coworker at a party, like, you're not going to be like, hey, we made out. That's a good question for maybe an HR department, if there ever was one, Joe. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, boy, if you had... I should... I should... Whatever happened... Remember those HR department meetings I would do with Greg, uh, with Danny and, and Josh? I should bring those back, because we probably have quite the amount that we could talk about here. I bet. Um, she, she boasted about uh, one of the guys, Powell, having a huge black dick. Her words. Well, you call it how you see it. Just saying. You know. I saw a picture of the guy, too. You're like, yeah. Probably. Well, you got to understand, cops are trained to be very descriptive in their reporting. Huge black dick. So, like, you have to imagine. No, that's not very descriptive. There, one more adjective, then you could say that. Like, it was like, huge black veiny dick. Or, like, huge black big bald dick. Big bald. You're really honing in on this dick. Huge black... No, but like it's funny because cops will dick. be like, "Well, at 0800 hours, it was you know right before you know sunset, and there was about you know 38 dew point, you know like they figure all that stuff out. Yeah. So like they have to be trained to describe sex in a very specific manner as well." Uh, this woman also has a husband this whole time. She was being a cheater. She was, and he's staying with her through the fire and the flames. <laughs> through the fire and the flames, we carry on. Yeah, apparently. So here's a good question for you. Okay. You're married, okay. happily married, you believe. You find out your spouse 
is sucking the whole department? Is yeah, it's just like the whole f- fucking 7 to 3 shift. What are you asking me? What number of of partners that you find out you've been cucked by are you saying with that person? <laughs> one. So one you're leaving, one you're done. Let me ask you a question. You find out your wife's cheating on you. No, yes. No, I I understand, but there are people that work through Yeah. Extramarital affairs. They say, like, you know what? We're gonna work through it. We're gonna do suck in the precinct. What I'm saying is like, how many is it like one, you might be able to work through it? Two, we're gonna be really tough, but there's a small chance. Three plus, is it like absolutely out the window or like I mean we're up to five here. We're like (laughs) this is the levels, we're the five layers of hell. Yeah. Dante's inferno. Dante's inferno of police dick. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if there's even like a thing. That's that's uh man. You know, first of all, they put her name out there not to embarrass her. And her picture, too. To embarrass her husband. Uh, no, I think they put her picture out there because it's just a story. Well, yeah, obviously. I don't it's think a there joke, was like Joey. A, it's, a, it's a big joke. It's a big joke? A big old joke. A big fat joke. A, a big, police joke. A big fat black joke. <laughs> <laughs> a huge black joke. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now, how did, is there anything in there on how the department found out? I don't know. Do you know of anything? How? I was going to type that into Google. Yeah, how did not, the department find out? Uh, I think they just did an investigation. Well, it's know. easy to investigate when it's being done by the whole fucking shift. The whole day shift. Oh, now this this article says six colleagues. Oh, they're finding more bodies. They're finding more bodies. <laughs> She's like she's like a serial killer who's like behind the glass and they're like, if you give me, you know, a can of you I will tell you where all the bodies are. A can of you First place my head went, Joey. I love you who though. I, I, not by the way, not chocolate, not milk. Don't know what it is in that fucking Well, I don't care, it's good. Uh, by the way, when you think of you who, who do you think of? Three, two, one. David. Yeah, this kid had a fucking thousand you who's fri- bro, a fridge, a whole drawer in the fridge of you who. And Capri Sun. No, that was a separate drawer. I know, but he had... The this boilers. kid had two drawers in a fridge of children's drinks. He was yoo the fuck up. Hey, bro, he yoo his way through that entire fucking elementary school. By the way, I can't have enough yoo I don't remember last time I had one. I imagine it was very long ago. I'll tell you what, the little juice boxes? Dude. I could drown in a... If I fell into a vat of Yoo-Hoo, you'd drink your I'd way out. get out. You'd drink I would your way drink out. the whole thing. I can understand that. I can, Easily. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I would probably you, shit myself. You, like, you, well, you'd also die before you were able to drink everything. Because probably. Because of the laws of nature. Yeah. So, six. Six, six cops, six cocks. Way to go. You did that. This is what I'm at work right now. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's crazy, man. That's way too many cocks and cops. Well, I mean, listen, if she was not, first of all, not married, unless you do have an open relationship, go for it. I don't care. Not my business. But I think in the, in the workforce, that's the thing that's tough because you know, there are people out there that are making like distress calls and they're like, where are the cops? They need to be on their way. And then someone is just fucking double cheeked up inside her or, or she's inside them or whatever. Yeah. She was putting it down. Oh, also her husband is a cop, but I don't think at the same place. That's got to be tough. You got to retire. Get into a different line of work. Yeah. Because and, do you oh know what God. would happen if I was a citizen? He's a park ranger. Oh, that's worse. And the son of a pastor. God is gone there. Yeah, I don't know. God left that loveless marriage. Yeah, that's what I think happened. Oh, boy. That's tough. Do, do you know? Park what, rangers? Do you know what would cool? happen if I was pulled over by a cop and I knew that that happened? Wait, what do you mean? If if I was pulled over by a cop and he was being a real d bag, he was like, "You you were speeding," and I know I wasn't. You're broken everything. You got bu-. and I found out that that's the husband of the woman that did that. Like you're not mad at me. You're mad. I'd at be me. like, "Are you giving me a ticket?" Yeah. Well, get your book out. You're gonna give me eight more. Wait until you hear what I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one. Also, they interviewed this dude's boss. His name's Jedediah. Wait, who's named Jedediah? The husband. Oh, well, hold on a sec. That's like an Amish person's name. You got to cheat on someone whose name is Jedediah. Do you? Actually, it's pretty biblical. Yeah, dude, who takes a serious person serious when their name is Jedediah? <laughs> takes a serious person serious. Um, oh, it's Hebrew. Yeah, I know what it is. Solomon, also called Jedediah, was a monarch of the ancient Israel and the son and the successor of David. 
How is your name Solomon and your fucking nickname is Jedediah? That sucks. That's like Richard and Dick. That makes no fucking sense. That that's just someone that was angry at a Richard and said like, oh, I call him Dick for short. I don't know. You ever have someone refer to their penis as their prick? I'm like, oh, well, fuck. They just that's a British thing. That's what they do in Britland. Yeah, uh, that your Britain. prick? That's what they do. They'd be like, he has baby prick out. Yeah, he's he wanking his it prick. In, he stuffed it in a muff. Stuffed it in her muff. That's what they say over there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm from London, I know. Are you from London? Nah. Have you been to London? No, I want to go real bad. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, you're going to make fun of me, but my favorite tea shop is over there. Also, to see it, but like, my favorite tea shop is over there. They're big on tea, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, you know, you know, colonization was a thing, Joe. The sun never set on the British Empire for a long time. Um, what does that have to do with tea? Colonization? Uh, because they stole it from where they colonized. I thought tea was made in China. Well, it, it's, it was oldest, like, traces of tea could be found in China, but also uh, China. China. <laughs> China. <laughs> but also, uh, like, India, you know, in different countries that were colonized by the British. The British, they stole it. So they this. took it, and they were like, this is ours now. Did the Brit Are the Brits the one to blame for all this slavery? I'd like to pin it on someone, historically. Um, if we hmm. could really pin hmm. all of it on someone. Hmm. Um, Let's see. Who uh, would it be? Well, the, the, the ancient Greeks did have slaves as well. I think, I think unfortunately... Who created it is what I want to know. Uh, hmm. I'm going to look that up. That's, that's a good question. I, I'm sure there are forms of slavery to the like, ancient times. Uh, by the way, for all the people who are at home jumping up and down going, the whites, I know. I'm we know, about, like, obviously. The town. <laughs> What's the, the oldest known slave society was the Mesopotamian and Sumerian civilizations. Oh, I, I believe those are not white. In, yeah, in uh, Iran and Iraq region yeah. between 6,000 and 2,000 BCE. Yeah, and then the Greeks were like doing it. They were like, yeah, we love wine and our fucking little boy slaves. Who said that? The Greeks, dude. They were. Oh. So technically, if we want to get technical, I'm more to blame than you are. Wow! Yeah, man. Is that really? Well, I'm I'm Greek, but we did we did the we did a big one. You did though. the you guys we had did the a more, big one. You had the most recent one. It's like it's like we you know what they say at a restaurant. It. You don't want the dessert to suck because that's gonna follow you all the way out. Yeah, I guess people will remember the last th bad thing they tasted. We 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 popularized it. Like you did. Took, you guys yeah. you guys brought it. Child. You guys brought it to prominence. Yeah, yeah. You were like the in sync of doing it. Got it. Got it. Got you it. know, like people did it before, but then they were like, oh my god, in sync. They're huge. <laughs> International, yeah. Yeah. European settlers brought a system of slavery with them to the Western Hemisphere in the 1500s. So, like, we brought it west. We, we let it travel. You were the trendsetters. We, yeah, we were tasting. Everyone was walking around in Jordans over there, and you brought them over here. And people were like, we just have sandals. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah so, oh, you, we knew you were to blame for something. Yeah, yeah, I mean that. Come on. We knew that. It was yeah, just a of matter course. of how hard to blame you. What do you think white food is? Like, what's white food? Uh, or like American food, I guess. American food is like hot dogs, hamburgers, like uh, barbecue. I would say barbecue, yeah. But that's but that's I would say barbecue is more of a yeah no yeah barbecue yeah barbecue uh, corn. I think corn was only in the United States. <laughs> corn is a ridiculous food. No, they had corn elsewhere. They had corn in like Mexico. Corn's like, fucking stupid. Isn't corn fucking dumb? I, I don't mind it. It's like dumb. I don't me. mind corn. Celery is dumb. Fuck like, you. What? <laughs> I like celery quite a bit. It's okay. a delicious taste. But I'm saying like the concept of celery and... Well, actually... Yeah, no. Celery's stupid. Here he goes. Here he goes on his fucking high horse. Celery and corn. Two things that you eat and nothing happens. Well, because like they're mostly nothing. water, but there's nutrients in at least celery. I don't know about corn. I think corn is literally Corn's like nothing. Yeah, corn is you nothing. You might as well eat Legos. You basically are eating Legos. Your body doesn't know how to digest corn. I know. I know. <laughs> That's right, because you do all the poop. I can see it in you could the do shit it in your poop. Yeah, you know. I would say that there's more reason for celery. Like celery, bro. Have you ever made like a homemade pasta sauce? Yeah. Next time you do it. Put celery in it? Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blend up a little celery, carrots, onion, garlic with olive oil. An incredible base for your sauce. It's really flavorful. You won't need many herbs. Right, but like everything else that you named is like... Pretty rad? No, but like celery, I just feel like it's like... Celery's cool, dude. 
You can have it right. I love I love having celery as a snack. People love going. You burn calories eating celery because it has nothing. So the the the, uh, the motion of your body eating burns it. Yeah, it burns it already because it I has never zero kn- calories. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, that's an interesting way to think about it. Yeah. Huh. But corn is just like. What's your favorite corn? You like corn on the cob, or you like corn like? I like corn, corn on the cob. Like corn off the cob. Corn off the cob is t- too childish. I feel like it's hard to scoop this shit up. Like, and then like, like I'd rather have the corn in me. Uh, what? I'd rather have the corn. You'd rather <laughs> shove a corn. What'd you say? You'd rather, rather put a corn have, in the cob. I'd rather have the corn in front of me and just like. <laughs> Why'd you turn it like this? <laughs> well, because you have to turn a corn. No, you bit the end of the corn. No, you just did it. What do you mean? You when you went like this and then you went like that. Which you I didn't. I didn't. First of all, I didn't go like that. I didn't. I that didn't was go you. Like that. Yes, you did. I did not do that. <laughs> yes, you did. I swear to God, Run I didn't do that. Run the fucking tape back. I didn't did run I, the tape back. Did I do? Oh, yes, see? you did do it. See, I did do that. Guy, but Fuck. last week's holding, episode, you're no, fucking no. sucking and fucking. No, and now you're you're reading no. books about licking pickles. I said no, no. I went like this because you have to. That's the balls. That's the balls. No, no, That's no. This isn't helping me. Your left hand was for the nuts. Okay, I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> you hold corn like this, or you hold it like this. I hold it like this. I sometimes hold it like this, and you, you have to... You typewriter eat it? Like, yeah. You eat it like a typewriter? Yeah. I don't do that. I sometimes I, go around, I though, spin too. It, I, spin I spin it, it around I as spin well. I spin it around. I spin it around as well. My Actually, if you really want to get specific, my favorite form of it is like in like corn tortillas, or like arepas. Or something like that. No, but we're talking about like corn, not like. There's two ways. Off and on the cloth. Uh, Stop yelling me. The ear. Yelling at me. <laughs> Stop <laughs> yelling me. But no, yes, of course they're like off the corn. But like a corn, like a tortilla. You're not gonna be like, oh, this is like a corn tortilla. That's not corn. Yes, it is. I know it's corn, but it's like that's not the type of corn I'm talking about. Like creamed corn. Ew. No, creamed corn is kind of good. Ew. <laughs> creamed corn is kind of good. Bro, it sounds too like someone's fucking nothing in your butt. That's what. It, well, it's why? Creamed corn, dude. Well, I mean, it you're looks- gonna tell me that's not a euphemism for like sex? No. <laughs> Like, it what did you guys do last night? We went home, we made some cream. corn. Oh. Um, no, no one has ever said that. Uh, I'm sure they haven't. Cream corn constantly. or sweet corn. Sweet, but well, that's just a form of corn. That's what we're talking about. No, you're about. asking about the method in which you ingest it. So your, your answer is arepas. <laughs> yeah, mashed and fucking into a paste with water and then cooked. It is good. You know it's good, too. I fucking love them, yeah. I had a bacon, egg, and cheese in an arepa the other day. I saw that. I was ready to be all in it. What does that mean? You know exactly what it means. That was a very spicy way. I would say, if we're being traditional way of corn, on the cob. You you prefer the cob? I like the cob. Because it feels cool. It feels cool yeah. to eat corn on the cob. It does. Like you're you're conquering nature at that point in time. You're conquering nature? You don't think so? It's a ear of corn. Yeah. And then you take it off the stalk and then Well, no, you don't. You you boil it or grill it. And grill just, the corn. Come you on. You can boil it. Yeah, I know, but grill it. It's better. I like, okay. I like a little char. I do like a little bit of a little char on it. But I just go like nyang, nyang, nyang. I don't like it. It, hurts. it like gets in my teeth. It gets very wet too. Wet. Do you remember when we did the Santa Gata Studios video, youtube.com slash Santa Gata Studios, where we had the, the, the corn the eating, eating contest? Do you remember the juices that came out of those ears of corn? Those were soaking wet corn. Those were fucking juicy. Juicy corn. And uh, I like it that way. Cream corn, couldn't corn chowder. I don't think I've had enough to what really. What the fuck is that? You never had corn chowder? Yo, I had a corn. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Cornbread. No, it was cornbread pudding. Fucking stupid. Becca makes a really good corn, corn like corn casserole. It's like cornbread in there and shit like that. What's, what is casserole? I think it's just baked in a dish. Anything could be a casserole. No, but it's like got white in it. Like casseroles have like white. Not all of them. You can make, I, I think it's like vegetables or something with like a form of a binder, like a cream. When I think of casseroles, I think absolutely gross. No, I don't think I've actually had a bad casserole. Casserole is a kind of large deep pan or bowl used for cooking a variety of dishes in the oven. It's also a category for... So I was right. I guess it is that. So I was right. What we're finding out right here is that I was right and you were wrong. 
Yeah, I guess. But I feel like they all look similar. You know what's really good? You ever had Mexican street corn? Yeah. Oh. There's a there's a there's a there's a taco spot by my apartment that I know sells Mexican street corn. Yeah. There's a there's a place in Asbury Park called Pop's Garage. I've been there once, but I remember their their street corn was Betty Betty Bettingum Bettingums Bettingum. Yeah. Ugh. I'm just ill. French onion chicken casserole. Uh oh, that sounds delicious. Let's go through it. French onion. I can imagine what's in there. Onion and the French. Beef bull, like beef stock or bouillon or something like that, is in there. Bull yarn. Yellow onions, butter, garlic, flour, broth, frozen peas, cooked chicken, sour cream, fried onions, mozzarella. That sounds delicious. Although in a French onion thing, it's actually Gruyere cheese, not mozzarella. But oh, they wrote that too. What are we saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. What are, have I asked you what your top two soups are? Yeah, you know I don't like soup, though, so I don't really have that. Oh, that's right. Bigger question is, what are your top three cheeses? Ooh. Feta's got to be up there. Feta's in your top three cheeses? Feta's up there. I, a really good, like, good feta. Not like the store-bought... Like a spicy feta or like a regular I've feta? I've never had a spicy feta. Yo, spicy feta's bananas. I, I should. There's Actually, there's a place in Astoria that every holiday we would get Greek cheeses. And we get like the the Bulgarian sweet sheep's feta. It's to die for, legitimately. It's that you go to a grocery store and they give you feta and it's like in a block and you bite it and it's like a sponge and then it crumbles in your mouth. This is like you bite into it and it's like creamy. I like feta. I love feta, dude. Is mozzarella in your top three? <sighs> Fresh mozzarella, like burrata. I would, yeah, I would say that's up there. I also like a real good cheddar. Brie is real good. I don't know cheeses. The only cheese that I would say I'm not fucking with is cottage. Because... Yeah, that shit is fucking ass. It is so... It's like diarrhea. Yeah, it's like... I feel like elves eat that. It's gross. I tried to have it once for a diet, and I hated myself for a lot of reasons. Right, yeah. One of them was the cottage cheese. Right, and then the other 400 were different stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, how much time you got? <laughs> cottage cheese is disgusting. That's just like for mythical people. Brie cheese is good. Yeah. Goat cheese is good. Havarti is good. Gruyere is good. I'm not a big Swiss guy. Swiss is uh, fine. Too, sh too like, sh you know what I'm saying? No, I have no you idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't. Like, sh I have no idea yes, what that you means. Yes, you do. I don't know you, what that means. You know means. exactly what I'm talking I about. I have no idea what that means. It's more of like a, an attitude than a taste with Swiss. Well, it's a cheese. Well, it doesn't matter. F foods can do more than just taste, Joey. They can elicit responses from your mind, heart, body, and soul. Okay, do the Swiss one more time. Sip. The only person on earth. No, oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> you ever watch Ratatouille? Are you talking about the the made up fictional cartoon movie? Yes, yes I have seen that. <laughs> yeah, when he bites it and there's like, that's what food does to me because I am, I'm more than a fucking two dimensional being, Joey. I look at food and different things in the world as like on different dimensions. But Joey bites it. He goes, mmm, good, mmm. Bad. I'm like, oh, like there's like a rhythm in your mouth, and there's like a dance, and there's like a fucking like flowing of nature. You're so insanely full of shit. No, I'm not. It's insane, bro. Dude. There's depth to food, and I I'm see. I'm not it. saying there you isn't. You don't see shit. You said that Swiss tastes. Joey like will taste what? something. Yeah, yeah. Because no, there's that more lemons taste like that. And oh, oh, oh. no, that's lemons. <laughs> Lemons is oh no no no! no. <laughs> this would be a good Patreon episode. patreoncom yeah, slash video. <laughs> just like what food elicits what sort of like bodily response? Lemons is like no, no, fuck, not tonight. Okay, you know. Yeah, and Swiss is like. <laughs> I don't feel that. Yes, way. yes, 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 <laughs> yes. It is. I'm telling you. So Stupid. How is it stupid? <laughs> Eat a hot dog. What does a hot dog do? You know what a hot dog does. A hot dog is mm, yeah. <laughs> you tell me yeah, I because it's comforting and like the snap is like chow. <laughs> you know? It's, bad it's like it is a little sexual. What's the most sexual food? Oh, not like the peaches. shape or anything. Peaches. No. Peaches is like chow. You know it is, dude. You know it is.
I I don't think so. What? I get why it's like a sexual one. It is. It's like, like wet. Makes, and what it's makes dr- you feel the most sexual when you eat it? You're like, whoa. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, it's strawberry. Because, like, you, like, pucker your lips at the end of it to eat oh, it. Oh, you got to eat it. Like, you got you to like eat it. Nipple, like, like, it's a nipple. It's, like, it's a fucking fat it's nipple. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that shit was crazy. That sounded like a cartoon. That was right, right? Damn. Oh, I'm fucking so good. I just wet. said that was right, right? <laughs> yeah. No, that was good. You know what I'm talking about? The strawberry might be the answer. Even though I'm not, like crazy about them but like i like strawberries they're not as good as everyone makes them out to be yeah they're too like like my, they're not my jaw and also i then have seeds in my teeth for four fucking days <laughs> okay and also i have to bite it and then turn it and bite the rest you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> we have ads. Welcome back to the base for yard, well, folks. Actually, today we only have one ad, so we'll just get to it real quick. One ad? We uh oh, <laughs> we're gonna we'll go under. <laughs> Good night, chapter eleven. Here we come. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can tell the the second half of this episode is gonna be not good. <laughs> uh, we have Rocket Money. Uh, you can try it free for thirty days. Okay, you will save money. Do you know how much your subscriptions cost? You could be saving money if you signed up for things in the past where you did like a free trial or something and then you accidentally started paying for it or you're just not keeping track of the things. You'd pay for an app that you deleted years ago. Uh, With Rocket Money, they will help you uh, identify these things and cancel the ones that you're not using or that you don't want to use anymore. Um, But it's great. Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions when the actual total is closer to $200. So you could be saving money there. Uh, Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, uh, it's it's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. So it's nice to have just like a central hub to do all those things. And like I said, cancel the unwanted subscriptions and, um, you know, lower your cost every month. Uh, stop throwing away your money, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses uh, the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That's rocketmoney.com slash basement. It's super easy. Get the app. Identify the things you're paying for just so you know. You know, on average, people are saving a bunch of money every single year. So don't throw your money away. Uh, again, rocketmoney.com slash basement. Okay. <laughs> that was the sexiest a thing I've ever seen. I think you I, eating a strawberry, Lord. I think that's we're gonna make that into a Patreon episode. So mm, let's, yeah, let's not just, do too many of them. But that is a sexy thing. To I eat. would say, I would say to eat. But like, we need to focus on like the feeling that the food gives you. Yeah, you know. I don't really like. I don't know. I'm actually going to a sushi place next week. Is it gonna have little bubbles and foam? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I just recently watched that movie, The Menu. I liked that. I liked it a lot. Yeah. But like it's 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 like those pretentious movies where it's like places to eat where it's like they bring you out your first course and it's a single fucking thing with like a micro leaf. Well, and like, there's bubble foam around it and it's like, "Bro, give me give me food." Well, it's like an art. You just fucking said. You just went on this whole thing. No, no, no. I know exactly what I said. But like it's like an art form. It is an art form, but it's like one of those art forms that has become like so far art that like it has lost what it is. Far art. Fart. Fart. <laughs> you know, like when you give, like food is supposed to be playful and like you can like discover like new things and ways and bop, bop, bop. And then like when someone gives me like, they're like, here's your course. It's fucking $800 and it's like a single plate this big. Well, no. With like oil. No. <laughs> and it's like, bro, where's the food? No, no, no. So that's the, the misconception that I've been seeing because I like going to those places sometimes. Yeah, I know because you're a rich asshole, elitist, <laughs> piece of shit, prick. That missed my 30th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Elitist asshole. <laughs> um, but there's like 10 courses sometimes. I and know, it's like 10 I know, dishes. I know, I know but like, like I struggle to see... Because I watched that movie, The Menu. You said you watched it, right? Yeah. You guys watch it. It's pretty good. I thought it was great. Yeah. It was very funny too, I thought. Um, but like I watch stuff like that and I'm like, how do you leave this? Even if there are 10 mini courses... How do you leave this satisfied? Like your hunger is not satisfied. Not always, but I will say more often than not, I'm like, I'm like, that was a perfect amount of food, but there is a good amount. I would say like 30% of the time I'm like, I need to order more food. 
because like that was because re- it's like the chef's tasting menu. So it's like he'll it's like it's more like, like a, it's 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 let's be honest. It's a little like narcissistic sometimes, right? Where it's like I'm gonna make you what I believe to be the culto <laughs> social <laughs> and it's like bro, just just give me a fucking meat patty, cheese, burger, yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, like, but some places. Uh, I remember going to it, the last time actually I went to a, a sushi spot that's supposed to be like really good. We did the chef's menu and we were like definitely ordering more, more food. It afterwards. was not enough. Yeah, it was like nowhere near. Sushi's enough. tough too because like you don't think it's like it's either you don't realize it's gonna be filling and then it's super filling, or you think you're gonna be filled up and then you're like, I need more. Yeah. Also, like, I saw there was a soft shell crab on the menu, and I was like, Bud, "Butter me up! I need to get that." Oh yeah, absolutely. You could just eat a whole soft. You could eat like its hands. I know. I've had it. I've have you have you had it like multiple times? I've made it too. I've only had it twice. It's it's one of those things though that like you have it once, and then you're like, "All right, I'm done for a while." I love fucking crab. I. That sounded like I love fucking crabs. Where's the comma in there? Yeah, it's like, I love fucking a crab. (laughs) One of the biggest heartbreaks of my adult life Mm. has been the increased price of king crab. Is it really high now? Bro, 2020, I got a... uh, 2021, I got a box of 10 pounds of colossal king crab for 300 bucks. Wait, 10 pounds of 10 it? 10 pounds. $30 a pound. Where? How could you store that? It, I literally got it from where it was and went straight to the party and started making it. Oh, okay. Guess how much un pound is today? Like 60 bucks. Mm, 80. Whoa. 80 a pound. Double, <laughs> double what it was. You know how fucking upsetting that is? Yeah. It's one of my favorite foods, legitimately. We had crab when I went to your place, right? Yeah, remember when yeah. you guys came over the first time to see the house? I got a big thing of a colossal king crab. They had fat arms. Fat! Yeah. And now, it would be, legitimately, I would have to pay an arm and a leg to do something. It would be a thousand dollar dinner. Wow. Isn't that fucked up? Well, you know, the eggs, the milk, all the stuff, it's going up. Yeah, but that stuff is, that stuff fluctuates, like gas. Yeah. You know, because it's, like, but for some reason, market price for king crab is, like, through the goddamn penis. <laughs> Fucked up, dude. The price is through the goddamn penis. I uh, I recently watched something talking. You know, I watched that movie, The Menu. But I recently watched something else that had the opposite effect on me. It was an experience, to put it lightly. And that was porn. Do you remember, what? Porn? No. Uh, do you remember the movie Stomp the Yard? Of course. Yeah. When was the last time you watched it? When did it come out? Uh, 2007, I believe. Probably 2009. Yeah. It is such a piece of dog shit. <laughs> I could not believe it. I wanted to be a stomper so bad after really? seeing that. Really? Yeah, I was just like, oh, if I could just like move. Well, but they don't they don't do a lot of stomping. It's like just dancing. It's like gangster battling dancing. And that was going to be my question for you. Who created this narrative that like it was like gangster underground dancing and that's what the thugs did. Yeah, right on the week. <laughs> On the weekends, they go to underground clubs and they bam. Be like, yo, I'll see out. you. I'll see you on fucking Saturday, homie. You know, like no one did that. Yeah, it's like, yo, you got well, you got choreography. It, if anything, it was the opposite. If we knew any gangsters, yeah, and we found out they were dancing, they lost their street cred. Right. Which, like, who created this? Because it was like stomp the yard. You got served. You got, but that's an iconic piece of American cinema. That was it, like the first to do it. I fucking love that movie. That movie's very good. I always tried to do the levitating foot thing. Yeah, I wish I could backflip so bad. Yeah, well, you probably could if you give it enough time. Too afraid of that. I well, can't even backflip into a pool. I would tell you, my brother almost hit his face backflipping off of a dock. Dude, Keith backflipped a bunch of times into my pool when I had it. When he was like attempting, he was like teaching himself, and I was just there, like trying to make sure he doesn't die. He backflipped and. I guess over rotated and his face just hit the edge of the pool. Marron. And he just got in the water and then he came out of the water and like this. And then he was like, I'm just kidding. I was like, Are you fucking insane? Yeah, yeah he he got you good. Yeah, he did get me. He got you good. You but, almost thought he was dead. Yeah, I wanted to give him a fucking rocket punch to the face. Yeah, well, or you can just check on him and say, Are you okay? He said he was fine. Uh I, I would love to do a backflip, but in these movies, I just I I don't understand who created this narrative. And, like, they, like, intimidate each other with dance moves. 
So they're like, ah, ooh, ooh, oh, yeah. and it's like, didn't happen. Did you watch the whole movie? No, I had to turn it off because of how dog shit it was. Really? Yeah. Why'd you put it on? Be- Becca looked at me and she goes, you want to watch this? And I was like, sure. We put it on and she was like, I loved this movie growing up so much. I was like, I saw it a couple times. I liked it too. Is that Columbus Short? Columbus Short and your boy, Chris Brown. And they were, <laughs> Chris Brown dies though. So then. I was like, all right, Spoiler, I, can, alert, he I, was can, shot. I can watch a little bit more, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, but like he was shot because they beat the guys in a dance battle. Oh, so how, that's the biggest disrespect that could ever I happen guess to so. a person. I guess so. Do, Do you ever want to be a dancer? Did I ever want to be a dancer? Yeah. Um, no, I was very shy about dancing when I was younger. Did you? Didn't really. I tried to like not go to dances and stuff. I've told my story about how I convinced people I was a retired dancer. Not like a dancer, but like <laughs> grinding at parties and stuff like that. Yeah, you don't. I don't do it anymore. Yeah, did and it then, too much. And then I had there was one girl that brought me out of retirement. Right. Yes. What was yeah. her name again? I'm not gonna say that. You did say it. No, I didn't. I think you did. I remember not saying it. All right. Um, but <laughs> I remember one time. This is like my fucking. I, I remember this specifically. We went to Alex De Girl. Uh, we went to her party. <laughs> what a name, by the way. Yeah, her name was. Her name was not even Alex. It was Alejandra. No, well, she called herself Alex. No, I know, but I'm saying like... But we, for some reason, called her Alex Da Girl. Alex Da Girl. We hung out with zero Alex Da Boys. Yeah, we had no Alex Da Boys. It yeah. was just Alex Da Girl. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we we uh, went to her house when she moved. Like, she used to live in the neighborhood, and then she moved. And then we went, and I was like, oh, we're just going to a birthday party. And then I was like, fuck. And then I go down to the basement, and there's like... Grinding? There's grinding... <gasps> Whose birthday party was this? Alex's. Where was it? It was at her house. I think it was her house, but it was in like, like Whitestone or I don't know. She like moved somewhere over there. And then like, I go downstairs and I'm like, oh no, I'm so scared now because there's, there was like those colorful lights. Yep. I know what lights you're talking about. And then there was the like, ones with colors. Like those ones. Yeah. And uh, there was grinding. There was like Sean Paul. I was like, oh, I'm going to get eaten alive down here. You're, you're in the jungle. Yeah. You were was, in the jungle, baby. And I was like, oh, God. And I was like, you can't, because you don't, like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to dance. I don't know if I can dance. And then I that was like, back in the day. Bro, that was back in the day when birthday parties would be like, yeah, we could have the birthday party. You could have it in the basement and the, the parents would just stay upstairs. Yeah. And the kids would have the party in their basement where there was grinding, grinding, sucking, fingering, fingers, a whole bunch of fingers, Bl- I would say. Blows galore, dude. I don't know about Blows. No, more like neck kissing. Yeah, that's com- not a near a blow. <laughs> that's what a you know whatever. Yeah, a lot of hickeys. Hick, yes, hickeys. hickeys. Seven minutes in heaven. Seven. Yo, that's a lifetime, by the Bro, way. Bro, seven minutes. Seven minutes in heaven. You know what I can? <laughs> you know what I've done in seven minutes? <laughs> <laughs> seven minutes in heaven, dude. Jesus. Just give Christ. me a minute and a half. Give me fucking. You know. And I'll be in fucking hell right after. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro. Clean the closet for you too. That's crazy though. Like I'm like brought back because you I, know I've never played spin the bottle in my life. I played spin the bottle. I played seven minutes in heaven. I played spin the bottle. Uh, yeah, and it, you know it's just it, it's like a. Do you have you kissed anyone? Spin the bottle that I know. Uh yeah. I mean we played as kids like yeah. me and you. Just us. Just us. <laughs> Who's he going to land on? That's funny because people keep bringing up. We originally said at 13,000 patrons because we never thought realistically we'd be there that we would kiss. Yeah. Well, you've blown past it. We have. Um, it, yeah. Well, my first kiss got you angry and you didn't talk to me for like two days. And I printed out the AIM conversation. <laughs> oh, my God. I, uh, uh, but yeah, I played p- Spin the Bottle with like the girls that we knew growing up. Where? In random places. Parks. Yeah, yeah. Spin the bottle. Never, Never played. It, it, you know, it's. I'm it, too old now. Can't play spin the bottle now. Now it's a swingers party. Now, yeah. Now it's a key. Now it's a key party. <laughs> yeah. You point. spin that bottle, you're on the receiving end of a fucking dildo. Yeah. It's someone's wife you're kissing at that point. <laughs> That's exactly what it is now. That's crazy. That's weird. I'm sure you're in a group of like weird guys though. You guys. No, can, that's not happening. Yeah, you could play together. No, I can't. I'm, sure, can I'm sure Pete would really hate having to spin that bottle. It's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no one gets that joke. No me one except for me and you. Oh, God. But yeah. Have you ever played Seven Minutes in Heaven? I think I have, yeah. And, you know. What'd you do in there? 
I mean, uh, what I remember, it was just kissing, and then like awkwardness. Because you come out and everyone's like, oh. But yeah. like, yo, seven minutes is a, such a long time. Bro, seven minutes is an eternity. Yeah. Dude. Legitimately. I mean, how much time we got? Seven minutes left, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like 10 minutes out right now. So like. Bro, imagine just for like all but three of these minutes, just kissing. Yeah, I imagine, cause since I've never played seven minutes in heaven in my life, and then it's, but how do you choose who you go to heaven with? I think that's the thing is like it's it's like a prearranged marriage, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, so it's like yo, you and fucking It's Sally. like all right, it sounds like Joey and Stacy are going in. And then like you go into a closet and someone starts a timer and then I think there's a good amount maybe like the first 2 minutes is just like hi. Yeah, it's like this is awkward. Yeah, like what why was did you I was actually thinking that? of this the other day. What was like if you liked a girl? Everyone had questions that they asked. <laughs> what? Because I was the type that I never would be like the first to be like, I like you. Okay. I always was afraid of rejection. So I would ask to make sure, like I'd bring the horse to the water. You know what I'm saying? What, what would you say? I would just like ask questions to, what the fuck are you doing over there? On. I would ask questions to see like where this, I'd gauge, you know, what was going on. I'd test the waters, litmus test. Okay. With what questions? Different thing. But a question I remember asking a lot would be like, what would you do if I just kissed you one day? One day? Well, like on AIM. Oh, you would... Oh. I never asked in person. I was too afraid. I mean, bro, you're showing all of your cards with that question. I mean, who are you kidding? No, no, no. And then they... What if they were like, oh, throw up? Here's what I would do as a kid. You ready? Yeah, I know you're going to be like, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I say you're a sociopath. No, you're a maniacal fuck. Go ahead. <laughs> Not maniacal. <laughs> I would type that question. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, good. I would type that question. You would you would ask. I would help. ask like because we we'd play twenty one questions. Okay, yes. And then I would type the question. Yeah. And then I would see that they're typing, and while they're typing, I would write out, "My bad, that was my brother. I'm so sorry." And then, whatever their response was, if it was positive, I would delete it. If it was like, "What the hell?" I would instantly send it. To make it look like they came in at the exact same time. <laughs> that was a tricky little shit. Wow. That was a tricky little shit. Wow. Okay. My bad. That was my bro. I've done that mad times. Mad before. times. Or like, yo, Frankie took my phone, which half the time you probably did. I absolutely did. Yeah. Did we ever say on the show when you took my cell phone and changed my girlfriend's number Many to your times. Number? Our good friend Daphne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I talked to her actually like two weeks ago. Weird. Yeah, so random. What? You didn't tell me this beforehand? Just like as a casual, like, yo, guess what happened? Weird. You know what I did yesterday? <laughs> what? Sorry. What? Wait, first, what was your go-to like questions? Like, what was your thing? Um, I don't remember. I don't ever think I flat out ever said to someone, because I was like way more shy about it. I was easy to talk on the internet. In person, I was a little more shy, but once I like opened up to a person, it was it was the floodgates. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever like said to someone like uh, like what would what would you do if I kiss you? I feel like I like would know if they did like me mm -hmm. or not. I didn't really play. I didn't really roll the dice that much. I rolled it a little bit. Yeah, I never like I would I would only really like engage in something if I knew like oh they definitely like, yeah I, I, I made it a thing like I really wanted to know like the person was going to reciprocate because I didn't want to feel bad you know what I mean like putting that person in like a weird situation yeah because like I knew it would bother me but I wouldn't want it to bother them if that makes sense okay but uh, the, the, the classic one is like what like what would you do if I said I liked you you know well we would uh I was about to completely word that so wrong, but I, we, we would fuck. No, I would. <laughs> no, I was gonna say you. We used to like double team, but we would uh, work as a team t sometimes. Yeah, you had your to, boy to find out who liked who and what was going on. It was tricky with you though because you were so cute, <laughs> and I had to really be careful because uh, you know I would be like, oh, Joe, go in there and like feel it out, like see if they like me and whatever, and then they'd end up liking you. It's no, because we did this on the phone. It was like, so, like, Frank's kind of cool. Right? Oh, yeah. I would do the whole, like, oh, be right back. I'm putting my phone down. I'm definitely not here. Put it on mute and then listen to the whole fucking conversation. Yeah. It's like, so you think Frank's, like, pretty pretty fucking chill, huh? And he'd be like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's reenact one of those conversations. I'm Frank. Be like, guys, give me a sec. My mom's calling me. I'll be right back. Mute. Hang up. You're Joe. I am the girl. Give me a name. M- Marissa. <laughs> Okay, I'm Marissa. Yeah. You're Joe. I'm so, Marissa. So, Marissa, like... Yeah. <laughs> you, so, Frank's, like, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty cool. Like, how cool do you think he is? Um, I mean, I've seen his fitted collection. <laughs> he does have a, a Deuce McAllister Saints jersey, so pretty cool. Yeah, he's got a lot of and hats. And a Joe Horn Saints, two Saints jerseys. <laughs> Joe Horn? You had a Joe Horn jersey? <laughs> yeah, dude. Why did you have a Joe Horn jersey? I, I had a Joe Juravicious jersey, Joe. Why do you have these jerseys? I don't have them anymore. That's insane. I had a Joe Juravicious Browns jersey. That's insane. Yeah, it was a good one. That's a, that's a crazy Sean one. Sean Alexander. You, these are such ra- well. I guess Sean Alexander isn't a random one, but like, Jarvis is Joe Horn. <laughs> yeah, I had random ass jerseys. Deuce McAllister. I had a Champ Bailey jersey. Uh, that one makes sense. I think I had one at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had. I, I had know. a John Elway jersey. Remember that? I had a John Abraham jersey. <laughs> well, you're a Jets fan. Yeah, I was. John Abraham. Oh, but yeah, no, he's pretty cool. I'm seeing his jersey in him. You do you do you like him? Um, like. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty cool. No, like, do you like like him, like him? Oh, um, I mean, don't tell him. I think so. Yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, no, I think I do. I think he, yeah. Okay. I was just wondering. You know, one day you're gonna be a c- massive entertainment conglomerate leader. <laughs> and, and then like, Frank, you would be like, oh, "Hello." That's exactly- <laughs> you would like scramble the phone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back. I'm Ma, shut up. Yeah. yeah, I'm back. Sorry, I was gone this whole time. Yeah. Not, I was so gone. What were you guys talking about? Yeah, what were you talking about? I didn't know. Nothing, man. What's up? What are you doing anyway? Yeah, exactly. And then as soon as the phone call would end, we'd call each other and be like, dude. Fuck, dude. Oh, sweet. All right, bro. Sweet. Or I would probably say something like, cha, chill. <laughs> chill. Coolio, coolio. No, for sure. I wouldn't say coolio. I'd be like, cha, no, I wasn't a surfer. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, what? You never said that. I would say, uh... Do you remember... <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not going to say that. No, right. say it now, bitch. No, I'm not. Say it the fuck now. You wouldn't want me to say All right, it, so... All right, good call. Good call. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that for you. Yeah. Um, but right, now I need to know after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna t- <laughs> I need to know exactly what you were going to say. I'm going to tell you after. But the reason... What I was going to say earlier, after you said you spoke to Daphne... Yeah. I was I went on a m- fucking absolute tirade looking for Ricardo on social media. Bro, I found him. Whoa! But I found him on one place, and it was LinkedIn. No what's, picture. What's he doing? I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna. Oh say. yeah, but like, what field? Uh, like engineering. Oh, good for him. Smart guy. Smart kid. Pretty smart. Guy was really smart. Really smart. Also, his mom made some awesome ham sandwiches. Hell yeah! She was pretty rad. She was. And uh, also, he was. Real good at video games. Really good at Smash Bros. And he had Mighty Ma- uh, Mighty Max. Yep. Uh, cool. cool. Ricardo. Bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Let's let's chat. Let's link up some memories. Yeah. Let's get the band back together. Uh, bro, we should actually do that. I'm dead serious. Like, let's go find everyone from PS2 on fucking Facebook and make them go to a bar. Yes. Let's. You know? I will put it to. I swear, Demir. me, me, and you, and you know who needs to help us. Who? Chelsea. She's good at this stuff. She's connected, you she, think? I think she's probably got ears in the ground. She's, she's tapped in? She's tapped in. Well, I think I saw my yearbook the other day, so I could start plugging in names and be like, yo, it's, it's me. Yeah. Remember me and Frank? Yeah. We're still friends. Yeah, we're still the be- best friends. Okay. <laughs> we're still best friends. Someone, I forget, like, after, like, so much time, someone from PS2 was like, oh, hey. I was like, oh, you know, whatever, nice to see you. And they're like, are you still friends with Frank? I was like, yeah. I found Demir, and I had messaged him after we talked about him last time, and he never got back to me, that asshole. Fuck. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, that's crazy. Um, oh, I think I found I think I think found a couple people like before. Nonetheless. What do you think Dixon's doing right now? Exactly who I was looking up as you said so that. So weird. I don't know if this is him. I mean, you would know. You would just stare at him and be like, that's Dixon. No. This, it's tough. I can't really tell. I guess it could be the one that I just 
It is 20 years ago, something like that. It is 100% 20 years when ago. When did we graduate from that school? 2000... 2003. Good Lord. 20 years. This might be him. Holy shit, that's 20 years. Yeah. Oh, so a 20-year reunion. Perfect. We could do it. Dude, let's do that. You want to try? Yeah. All right. Hey, friends, help us put it together. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna when we when we hang up these cameras, I'm gonna, we're gonna create put, a thing. We're gonna put fucking boots to the ground. Yeah, maybe. Like, yo, me and Frank are putting together a fucking reunion. Eight people show up. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's all right. We'll it's make fine, it, We'll dude, make it work. Fine. We'll absolutely make it work. Yeah, exactly. People got stuff going on. Well, if it comes from you, they're gonna be more interested because well, you're, you're king YouTube. All right, but you gotta hit up Jamie. You still a little hurt. Yeah. She lives out in, like, fucking... Spain. Yeah, she ain't coming. I know. Man, she does, though. <laughs> That'd be fire. And she says to you, like, it's always been you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but what if Gillian's there and Jane? Oh, my God. What am I, I going to do? We have a lot to talk about off these cameras. Let's, 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 <laughs> listen, thank you guys for hanging uh, out. Uh, yes. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We have been fucking crushing it. We, we creeped over 15. We literally can't under... It's hard for us to fathom the amount of love we're getting there and, and with the show in general. So thank you guys so much. Continue to get us to climb up those numbers. We want to do better on Patreon. So you guys get more stuff. We actually talked earlier about some Patreon stuff. So patreon.com slash the basement yard. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. And that next year you get exclusive episodes every single Friday that are a little how you doing. So go check it out right now. F Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on every other form of social media. And check out the basement yard on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, you can follow me at Joe Sanagato and the show at uh, TikTok, at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time.